A lot of the things I said in that essay um, have come to pass. Basically, I said that what has been implemented in response to COVID will not go away unless we reclaim it, unless we reclaim uh, a life not governed by risk minimization. Um, because there will always be a reason to stay safer. It'll always be safer to stay in a bubble, um, locked up, locked in, locked down. Mm. Um, and and we and that will only change. Like you know, I mean, even the common cold didn't kill as many people as COVID, but every year it killed you know tens of thousands of elderly people. <laughs> like you know, like we could. There's there's always a reason to clamp down on everything and control everybody. Uh, and, and unless we assert other values besides safety, not to say safety is unimportant, but, you know, is it, if, if we would say safer uh, for the rest of our lives by never hugging anybody again, should we do that? By never having a, a singing chorus again, should we do that? By never having a live wedding again, the things that we do in service of, of safety and death avoidance, I mean, that's the ultimate delusion. They don't work. Yeah. It doesn't even make us healthier. The biggest determinant of health is social connection. You're, you're better off, statistically, you're better off smoking and drinking and hanging out with your friends a lot than you are living an abstemious lifestyle uh, alone. Right. So, so like, yeah, the whole thing is, is a, um, it's, it's an illusion of safety yes. and it's almost like, uh, on some level, it was almost like society and especially it's, it's governing authorities welcomed COVID because finally it gave us a target for our anxiety, something that we could control and, and a society that is phobic of death is going to welcome things like that, welcome opportunities to exert control on an uncertain world, whether it's terrorism, you know, or a war or a, a, a pandemic. And so the response is, in my view, out of proportion to the actual threat uh, and, and actually causing a lot more damage than the yeah. disease itself. Tens of millions of additional people starving globally compared to maybe a little like two, two and a half million COVID deaths. Respecting death, all that actually means is knowing that it's real.